All right, this is the 2024 Five Borough Bike Tour. This is an edited version of the full ride. And I was riding my Le Petit Porter. It's a small 20 inch wheeled cargo bike. I've done a full breakdown and bike check on that. But what's special about this is I'm filming with the DJI Pocket 3 on my chest but I'm also live streaming from way behind me. So go ahead and check out that whole rig video if you haven't seen it. I have a camera floating behind me, behind the bike, pretty high up. So I'm like, it's like third person. So you'll hear me talking a little bit here and there. I'm uh, talking to the viewers of the live stream chat and we live stream on Twitch and an alternate YouTube channel, More Terry B. If you're not aware, check those out if you're looking for a more interactive video. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. But for this video, it's going to be a smooth voiceover explaining what I did in Seoul during the Five Borough Bike Tour. So this is the fourth time I've done the Five Borough Bike Tour. And the last three or four times I've live streamed the ride itself and on this particular day there was a um, high chance of rain i think a lot of people were a little hesitant to show up because of the rain and you'll see later in the video that it does start to mist it was never really a heavy downpour it was more like a like a spray like a mist and so i did cut out some of the video from the ride where it was raining i had to turn the camera off i was afraid that i was going to damage the Pocket 3. In fact, when it was misting a little bit and I was still recording, there were droplets interfering with the touchscreen and it was actually making the gimbal act weird. So I had to trim out a lot of the sections there. They were yelling at this guy, it was pretty funny. Hey, hey, hey. These streets, just because he's on a bike, they think he's participating in the Fiber work bike tour. He's probably just commuting to get to work. He does not look like he's a part of the tour. He's not participating. <laughs> So here we are, this is 6th Avenue, and we are taking a right here on 59th Street. Did you win? Billionaire's Row, right on the bottom section of Central Park there on the left. And now we finally made it to Central Park, and here I'm talking about how I'm wearing, I'm wearing bedrock sandals and flat pedals on my bike, and uh, yeah, it was a slow ride for me. This bike doesn't go very fast. Um, it was a very chill um, pace. Typically we do this a lot faster, but I decided to bring a bike that would really slow me down and just kind of enjoy the ride. Yeah, but my shoes would be cold and wet. So now it's just my feet. They are cold though. Typically this ride brings out a lot of people from other parts of the country. Other countries as well come out here and ride. There were some guys from uh, Scotland that were riding that I chatted to. There's definitely people from other states. And uh, a lot of these people don't ride a bike every day. So they're not used to doing some of the hill climbs and, oh, and, and riding again. in groups and, you know. How about that? Just normal things that you pick up when you ride How a bike all that? the time, like holding your line and trusting um, your speed, not slowing down too much, um, checking your shoulders. You can see it seems like I'm riding super close to people, but uh, there's plenty of room for me here. And uh, yeah, a lot of people look like they're gonna hold a line and then they like kind of swerve over and, and they close up gaps on you. So it's, it's fun to ride this fast. It's definitely uh, not a race, it's just a ride. And uh, 
you just, you got to be cautious. You got to, it's no different than riding around in New York City traffic. If you haven't done the Five Borough Bike Tour, I highly recommend going out and, uh, you know, giving it a try. It's, it's really, uh, it's really nice to ride on a bunch of closed streets, but some of my favorite parts of the ride are riding on the FDR, which we're about to get on here in a second. Uh, riding all over some of these bridges, these smaller bridges, wh where it's car free. Like you can totally ride this uh, when the streets are open, but it's there's a lot of cars flying by, so it's a lot nicer when it's just us bikes. And this was our small little touchdown in the Bronx. <laughs> we the Five Borough Bike Tour you ride through, as the title of the ride states, all five boroughs of New York City. Big Five Borough Hype, um, baby. You really don't ride much of the Bronx at all. You just skirt through it. And they probably do that because it's only a 40 mile ride. And if we were to go into the Bronx, you have to, we still have to go all the way back down into Staten Island. So I think they do that to just, you know, keep the ride on the, on the shorter pace. Some people, um, they're still, like when we took the ferry Scary back from Staten there. Island, there were still people in Queens riding. Like, it's a really long, strung out pace. You have different waves and you leave at certain times. And I'm not sure what the last wave is, but I know that they release people at like 10.30 in the morning. And they released me at 7 a.m. And this ride took me about three and a half hours to do. So I'm already done riding by the time people are just starting. You know what I mean? So really uh, spread out. And, and this right here, this is the FDR. And this this is something that you normally can't ride legally. And you get to see a lot of cool different types of people and different kinds of bikes out here. So there was a guy on some kind of recumbent with uh, a trailer on the back with his dog in the back. You see a lot of cute things like this. Very cool. You also get to ride under uh, the east side of Manhattan here on the FDR and you ride under a lot of these old these hospitals that are stacked on top of the FDR which they're really Is cool looking to be able to ride under yeah. these tunnels like this but you do need to be careful um, there's a couple areas where the asphalt has angles on it and they've done a good job of like putting tape down and like thick plastic to help people not crash but your um, your hands or your wheels get in there, bro. can get stuck kind of like in a railroad track and every single time except for this particular year i've seen crashes in the same spot where the uh, cement and the asphalt have an angle on them people always seem to crash right there but this year i didn't see not one crash I did see a lot of walking a lot of walking the bikes on the hill and that's something normal you just have to you know have patience and deal with it as right here everyone's kind of moving like people were getting off their bikes just walking because again a lot of these people are don't ride their bikes Come on, all year long so they're not comfortable keeping uh -huh. their bike upright at a uh -huh. really slow pace uh -huh. it's really really hard to do that if you're new to bikes so you just have to have some patience and and uh you know Make sure everyone's feeling comfortable. Huge I was cracking jokes. Hill. Hopefully everyone knew I wasn't being serious, but I was saying the ground was hot lava and you can't touch the ground with your feet. If you do, you'll burn. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is the entrance to the 59th Street Bridge, the Queensboro Bridge um, from the Manhattan side. So this goes up and around and goes up into Queens. And the camera's really having some issues there. <clears throat> this part of the ride probably has the most waiting and people walking. This is probably one of the harder hills, if you want to call it a hill, um, for people to uh, get up. And yeah, I don't know. I think it's really cool. This is uh, something that you normally wouldn't ride on a bike. So 
these are some of these are the my reasons why I would highly encourage you to try ride, giving the Fibro bike tour a try. You just get to ride these really cool areas where you normally wouldn't ride. That kid's riding with a full bag full of merch in one hand. <laughs> just trucking along. As you can see, everyone has their rain jackets on. Like I said, it was it was spattering, spitting and spattering rain. A lot of walking. That's all right. This is the end of the hill for them. So now we're in uh, we're all the way in Queens already. There is a big checkpoint with food Yo, and snacks and water. I did decided not to stop this year. We got a full. What time should I come back, boss? No, make it deep. No? no? Not for me? Uh, it's for you, for all of them, for yeah. everybody. Ah. Know, because, what time? Know, what time I is it ready? Nine o'clock. Oh. Eleven o'clock is two hours, nothing. No uh, how much longer yeah. does it take? Long because time? Because they have the air and uh, they took all the fire. The oh, the fire. no, the wind, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the wind. So you Maybe start over? At least about three hours. Before. Okay. It smells good already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, fresh uh, baby lamb. Yeah, looks good. This is for celebrate for the Easter day. Yeah. After the 40 days fasting. 40 days fasting? Yeah, yeah. Now so it's time to feast, right? So that guy was really right? cool. Yeah. And he had a well, really, it, it smelled so Enjoy good. It. So I had to stop Thank and you. talk Enjoy. to him. Have a good day. I did Thank not you. make you it back to try that. Here's a couple shots where the gimbal went sideways, but I do like I do like what it looks like, and shout out to the $1.50 Costco hot dog and soda right there. Costco and Queens. It's been boxed out. <laughs> Here's a section where you can see that the rain, the drizzle started to pick up a lot. The sky really got cloudy here. And you can see that the camera's, you know, popping and stuttering here and there, having a hard time adjusting. So I went ahead and turned the camera off because of the rain. And so now we're on the BQE, another area where you normally can't ride. And we are just I'm, I'm, I'm east I'm of Red Hook. I I can rent a car and with this part of the BQE is really so cool in Brooklyn. I don't really um, need to do that. It goes down below crazy shit um, I don't mind filming people all of to other countries, but this yeah. area of Brooklyn. BQE runs under, here. so it's pretty cool the, the, the to be on a bike down here. A little... Uh, Canyon, a canyon of cars typically. There's usually a lot of traffic here. And today, just a lot of bike traffic. Everyone in the cars on the side, they're going slow. A lot of them are honking and beeping and waving to people, so it's pretty cool. It must be interesting to them to see if they didn't know what the hell was going on and they just saw a bunch of bikes on the highway. You know? And this part of the BQE, uh, we're near an Iguanas area. Um, the end of Red Hook is yeah, just exactly. over to the right, I believe. No, you can't. And uh, yeah, we're headed towards the Verrazano Bridge. And the Verrazano Bridge takes you into Staten Island. And it is the highlight, my highlight, of this whole yes. ride. It is a bridge that is, there is absolutely no biking on it. And I wouldn't, I would never try to ride this thing without the Fibro Bike Tour you would definitely get in, uh, it's very dangerous and you'd also get into probably a lot of trouble. Um, so, a smooth little downhill, you can see that the police have all the exits blocked on all the ends, making sure no cars were coming in or out, just to make sure no cars end up on the course. Although in the very, very front of the ride, there's a, there's a police escort in the front. Um, so if you were to try and race this, you can't go any faster than the lead world, yes. car, which is like two cop cars. So again, I stress, <laughs> this is not a race. And there's DB Pooper. He's a, a friend of mine who lives in Manhattan. He also is a moderator for me on YouTube and Twitch. I bumped into him, so we were riding together. And this was the coolest bike I saw. 
It's not a tandem, or maybe it is a tandem. It's a three-seater tandem. I was going to call it a triandem. <laughs> um, it's a father-daughter, and on the back, he made this really cool wooden structure skeleton with rainbow hair. And here I am drafting them, getting really close to the hair. You can see that its legs actually pedal with the pedals. Very cool. He's got bungee cords to keep the so the feet come back up every pedal. It made a lot of sound. Like it was pretty loud. It was like clink, clunk, clink, clink, clunk, clink, clink, clink. I had a feeling that the uh, the father was doing most of the pedaling. I, when I saw them on the Verrazano Bridge, uh, the daughter wasn't looking too stoked, but. Um, Pretty cool to do a ride like this on a tandem, or a, a trandom, if you will. So here we are, this is the Verrazano Bridge, and we are already up the top, and we're gonna descend in. This is what it looks like. A lot of people stop here in the so middle. This is, the descent. Um, this is probably the hardest climb some people have done um, since the last time they did five borough bike tour. Um, again, to you know, some, some people here, they're, they, they're not all daily riders, and if they are, maybe they're just more commuter types. So it's, it's cool to, to have something like this in New York City to uh, just help get people on bikes and ride places you normally can't ride. I can't put a helmet condom on this nice helmet. You know what I mean? It's too nice. Thank you. <laughs> the Rafa boys are out. Suspension bridge, bro. Suspension bridge. Longest suspension bridge. There's a difference. <laughs> Longest suspension bridge. Coming up to the end of the ride here. When you finish, it's what like the it, first bro? exit it's off cycle. the bridge in Staten <laughs> Island. And they give you a little metal. Uh, you have to get off your bike and walk. It's kind of funny. You do all this bike riding, then they uh, make you walk, won, but dude, definitely a safety thing. Too many people riding race, around. Dude. Here's the metal. That's right. We did it, baby. <laughs> we got the participation medal, and everyone's got to walk away uh, now. There's a big, uh, there's like live band. There's a lot of food. Sometimes, I don't know, there wasn't beer last time, which I was a little bummed about. I was like, come on, man, I just want a beer. So uh, because of that, we stopped at a local bodega in Staten Island on our way back to the ferry and we stop here normally get some snacks <laughs> DB wanted right some here. salty snacks I wanted some beer I got two tall cans of some? Coors Light Canada's favorite beer <laughs> just making that up and some salty treats and DB's mom was on stream how you doing Damn, the bike check. Yeah, no, you know, somebody, my mom's in the chat. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. For real? Yeah, I sent my mom bumps. the link. Like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, uh, like, hey mom, I might, you know, I'm doing this thing. I might be here. Yeah. down. How big of a speed bump we talking about? Take a couple of Anyways, can I get some sweet air? Appreciate you guys checking out this video. It's I know it's not super exciting, um, but if you've never done this ride, I feel this is a good way to uh, you know share what it looks like to ride it. It's a it's a good time. I highly recommend it. If you have the um, the time and the available funds, it does cost money to register, 
and it can get pricey. Sometimes, but if you register early, yeah, it's usually a little bit cheaper. And I they, I usually help them promote this ride by doing a video with Bike Snob uh, every year. So well, let me show you what I give it a check, it, check it out, give it a try, and uh, yeah, let me know stuff. if you've done this ride before or you were here this year. Uh, I did see a lot of people on the Sometimes ride and, and said hello stuff. to people, so maybe maybe I saw you on the ride, maybe I didn't, but I, I did meet a, 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 a big group of different people along the way, so enjoy yourself. Thank you for uh, watching, and we'll see you on another video. Peace. the story of rigid control through the unceasing research and the highest quality.